Good Saturday everyone, we just finished our inspection for the room. We're trying to get this room at Mitchum. It's quite expensive but it's really small but uh, I'm good for it as long as it's near the train station. Yeah, we're, we're trying to move here to the east because uh, it will be closer to Laura's work. But right now when we did the inspection it was like a long line. It was heaps of people out there because it was just right in front of the train station. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I had to get some jam donuts because I was really hungry. Cold jam donuts. I'm heading to the parking lot right now, waiting for Laura. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're finally here at uh, East London and we're gonna be eating. So I'm excited. Yes, I am. No, I just remembered. No, we're not gonna eat there. Goldilocks, we're at Filipinas Goldilocks. Yes. Okay, she's okay. Done with the ramen. Done with breakfast and lunch here at Kyoto Cafe. Okay, dessert time. How does it taste? Dessert platter. Okay. Yep. Oh. Done with uh, breakfast and lunch, and we're heading to Oakley to deliver some files to Steve. <coughs> Steve of Nova, my friend. Yeah. Okay. So I'm still in the car now. So I'm still in the. What the fuck? So I'm sitting in the car right now waiting for Laura because she's paying the bills for the petrol. And uh, yeah, look at the sunset. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's awesome sunset. There it is. Oh, bye. I'm back in the room right now or studio or whatever I call it. I don't know what I call it. But yeah, the thing is, uh, I'll be shooting a wedding tomorrow. And I'm excited to do it because uh, I just borrowed some gears from my mate. This one here. Uh, where is the name? Oh, sorry about that. So this one here. And then this lens here. I'm still looking for the name. This lens here. I know you're familiar with it. With this camera body. Yep. So I'll be having this too tomorrow on the wedding. Yeah, I just, I just love to have a 50, but uh, yeah, we still don't have it. Uh, we have 55 mm, and it's with Aldean. I uh, just rather have this to here, that way I won't complicate things. At the same time, also, I didn't get the 1635 because, uh, yeah, it's going to complicate things. And I'm going to still be using my awesome 1DX Mark II, which is one of my favorite camera. Apparently, this camera is trying to get my attention but uh yeah this is one of my favorite camera the Canon it's just too heavy it's just too heavy but yeah here it is and yeah also thoughts about these two cameras here Sony a7 III and the 1DX Mark II the 1DX Mark II is really so expensive compared to this camera here this camera here has expensive lenses so you have to think about it but it's light though the only thing uh, I didn't like also about this camera is it's too small but the thing is you can buy this grip here and yeah it can fit your pinky and you can have a comfortable hold of it. Uh, the thing is I just have the cow strap so I need to put it here but there's no hole for it. So I don't know, I don't know but yeah I can, yeah, I can do something about it. But yeah the difference I've, I've tried using this for testing, the difference between these two is uh, this one's heavy, this one's not. This one is good with low light, they say. This one is also good with low light. But the thing is, dynamic range wise, I didn't use any flash. I was using this camera here and comparing it to this. And the dynamic range of this camera was much better for me, though. It's not a scientific. <laughs> I hate it when I get cross tongued. It's not a scientific review, but uh, yeah, it's like a. Uh, real world review that I tried both these ones here just at home uh, tomorrow I'll be, I'll be using them on the field but I'll be, I won't be using it in low light I'll be using it in a real wedding situation so I, I can't 
can't say anything about the low light by then, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We also have the Sony 35 1.4, which is, yeah, I'm not really comfortable with the focal length. I just sold my uh, Sigma 24-35 F2. I like that lens. It's just too heavy. Sigmas, they're just too heavy, but they're good. I uh, had to let it go. Uh, we're going to try this out instead of the 50. And yeah, another thing I want to bring up with you guys is that, where is it? Here it is. Hold on, I'm going to get that. Oh, stuff. Another thing I want to bring up with you is I'm just going to use this camera here as a sample. Okay, I'm using this one here for vlogging. This is what you call as the... Well, <laughs> I think it's stuck. Okay, here it is. So this is the this is the one I'm using for vlogging. I also have another... I sold one. I sold the other microphone I have, but uh, I have this one also. So this is the Video Mark Pro. I changed it with the red lead. So like, look at that. It's good. I'm using this one here for run and gun, for travel, for easy, uh, easy access microphone. And it has this one here. It has the windscreen for free. So it's so light. The only problem we have with this uh, microphone is that it's not, it doesn't sound solid as this one here. Because, yeah, you know, the pricing really differs. But, uh, yeah. So uh, what I did was, uh, where was that? I had heaps of these ones here. Because the thing is, they always break off. And the good thing about that is Rody, whenever you try to ask them, Hey, uh, hey uh, guys, I have a problem with the lie wire. Lie wire. Lie wire. Yeah. I had a problem with the lie wire. And uh, I think I need a new one. How can I purchase it? They mail it directly to you. So that's why I already have two. I used to have two of these. Both of them were cut off. Like that. So I just made a DIY. You can see that one. And this one here, I'm just trying to fix. It looks crappy. I'm going to put tape on it. So it should look good. Uh, yeah. So one of the things, as I'm working with this uh, microphone here, I'm just going to use the other. Okay. Just going to fix it up a bit. One sec. It's taking a toll. It's not that easy to put it on. So I'm just going to quickly. <laughs> I wasn't. Ready. I just got this fixed. One sec, guys. <laughs> Shit. Oh, okay, finally. I got it in. So, yeah, I have two of these this one here has been cut off as you can see this one here has been cut off but uh i took care of it so this is the microphone thing is uh whenever i'm vlogging i have to point this microphone up there uh sorry when i'm vlogging i have to point the microphone at me because uh, i'm the one speaking the thing is if i'm doing this and i'm filming Every time I speak here, I need to remove the microphone, turn it back, have me talking. So it's like when you're running gunning, and like me, I'm lazy. I just want to get it done right away. I usually remove this, put it back. So for this case, I have this uh, video mic pro. And the thing is, I found out that their mount... Here, this is the mount for the video, video mic. Sorry, this is the Rotolink, Rotolink wireless uh, filmmaker something. It's the uh, wireless lav mic transmitter, whatever. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yep. So I just found out that uh, they have a mount here for the camera, and it looked like this. Just check it out. There you go. So when I look at the circle, the circle mount, you put it on the camera. You can turn it 360. So it's like, that's a nice idea. I don't have to switch the microphone back and forth. I don't need to 
rotate the microphone. So what I did was, I'm going to put this back in my pocket now. I'm really disorganized with regards to vlogging because uh, I just don't have a script. I don't prepare. Anyway, uh, so this is, this is the original one. I just play something on it. It looks like this. So it's a square one. Whenever you put it on a camera, you have to remove it and put it back. So I shaved part of it. So this is the original. And this is the new one. Check it out. So, yeah. When I... I've just, I just finished doing this and I just finished fixing this part here. So I haven't really tried it in the real world. But uh, if you put it on the camera, you put it on the microphone and lock it that way. That's how you view. Whenever you want to vlog, the camera is pointing at me now. And if I want this, if I want this to be facing at the back because I'm at the back of the camera, I can just rotate it. There it goes, rotated. So you can just look at that. You can just rotate. Mm, yeah, because it's circled down there. Easy. The only thing is, uh, I was thinking of doing it to this one, but it's made of metal. It's made of metal. There you go. So you can't, no way. Why would you? It's just for run gun, uh, lazy shooting. This one's for shooting. So like, but yeah, that's just it. I just want to bring it up to you guys that uh, you can do this mod here. <sighs> Focus. You can do this mod here, and it's all good. So yeah, that's it for the night. Shooting waiting tomorrow. Need to charge my stuff, need to prepare other stuffs. And yeah, I'm also liking the Sony's. I hate it, but I'm liking the Sony's. But uh, I still love my Canon. Yeah, Canon. Autofocus, color signs. Yeah. So goodbye. Cheers, bye. Oh, one more thing. Nothing. Look at that aperture, it's so tiny, I turn on the camera, far out, I'm even at 1.8.